fuel, uh, uh, in factories, paint, and cosmetics. And then there's ethylene oxide, which we mainly process into plastics and polymers. This way, we've created a semi-closed loop system. Waste that we put into our system become products that will eventually go through this process all over again. Okay, I get it. We'll clean up, but that's how we only work in coast. How will everyone get around? Considering you live here, you don't seem to know very much about the city. Excuse me, I just moved here. Why would I use all your silly tax gate services when I can get around in a personal vehicle all the time? What's the point? Well, I'm not sure you actually know about all the different kinds of transportation methods we actually have. Surely you'll find at least one acceptable. Like what? Well, bikes and walking for a start. You can get to all of the places you really need within walking distance. Yeah, but I'm famous, remember? I'd never be able to get anywhere without being stopped. Well, you could always take our electric rickshaws. Your what? It stands for Robotically Integrated Kinetic Shuttle Automatons. Basically, the city pays for your ability to rent electric expandable rickshaws to get around. I think I've seen those before. You might, you might have, because they expand a good track depending on the number of passengers and loads being carried. Or you can take a back them into district. We designed and implemented these transportation methods to solve the city's previous problem with congested travelers. We specifically used the engineering design process for developing our transportation methods. This way we met the requirements of all travelers. I might have to check that out. What about that dingy or whatever you said was running around earlier? Oh, we actually learned a lot from that. Now we have a hardware system that deals with the sicknesses of the past and more, should it ever be necessary. Not that it will be. We have Base Care, a health program that provides citizens with free annual basic checkups. Not only this, we also have emergency medical drones and specific cars on our maglev tracks as used for sickness and injuries. We also have similar cars on our maglev tracks, but they're used by the Tabak Mahara Municipal Authority, or the TMA for crime. Some of my colleagues have mentioned it was really wet when they visited. How do you deal with rain? Well, we first thought about all the specifications of solving this problem. All of Mahara can sometimes get around 31 inches of rain a month during the monsoon season, and our numerous hills don't make it easy to control the water. Using these specifications, we brainstormed methods uh, of collecting this water. Our solution was to use permeable roads so we can capture the water for use during the dry season. We also use biosoils designed by environmental engineers. Their drainage course is filled with vegetation and compost. They remove silt and pollutants from runoff and rainwaters. And then, underground fiberdyne bog filters further purify this water and then it's sent to a treatment facility for further distillation. And then we can use it. That's a pretty good idea. The city seems nice, but it can't be perfect. There are tons of things wrong with it. First of all, how much did it cost to build this system? It must have been an insane amount. And the energy costs must be unbelievably high. All of that is correct. While the system does use a lot of energy, our energy engineers are always looking for ways to improve the system's efficiency. Currently, we use nuclear fusion as our main source of energy, along with tidal energy and photovoltaic surfacing. And the initial cost was also very high. But we export excess electricity from nuclear fusion and surplus chemicals from our waste management system to offset the high cost of, man of operating the system. Fine, I guess it is pretty cool. Look, I know it's your first holy hit, but we do it every year. Hmm, better go find something else to freak out about. Wait, come back, I forgot your autograph! my three presenters. Nope, you guys are answering questions, babies. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have my three presenters come up and um, answer some questions. So quietly, please. I'll come down into the audience if I have a volunteer judge that wants to get us started. All right. Oh, you want, do you want to do one, Eli? Okay. All right. So you uh, talked about your innovation with the last board and the slide and that kind of stuff. I really like that. However, I would like you to talk about some possible safety concerns with your innovation and what you did to stop. Our innovation is actually mostly managed by people with high uh, robots. And if the system wasn't 
amateur detective write of um, something that shouldn't be in the tubes being put there, it would shut down the uh, local, local system on tubes and it would set the routine of the things that once again. And additionally, we have lots of quality engineers working like 24 7 to make sure that if anything were to go wrong, that it's immediately fixed. And since there's 75 million people, you know, we need to make sure it's all functioning well to serve the whole city. Okay. First of all, well done. Good job. A um, couple of things. Well, one thing I didn't really hear about was just kind of what type of jobs do you have in your city? What would draw people to your city? Would there be jobs? And then also, from a recreation standpoint, what would draw people to your city? What can they do there? So, as with Mumbai 150 years ago, Talib Mahara is still a leading um, central industry because we have many businesses and decided to headquarter their companies in our city. And also, we have the booming Bollywood film uh, industry in the city. Along with that, since it is located on a peninsula, the shipping industry is also well acclaimed. And as Patrick had previously said, lots of, with lots of companies and being a commercial hub, that's like a major attraction for people to come to follow the water. So we 
storage for that water? Is that where is that located? Is it represented at all? Um, it's not represented on the model. So was, is the energy source the nuclear fusion then? Yes, um, the energy source is mostly um, made up of nuclear fusion, which we have, uh, which we've made highly efficient. And because it's so efficient, we can send uh, most of it to our citizens, and then we can also send to our cities. Although electricity is very cheap, so it is a source of energy in the city. And also because plasma torches take a lot of electricity to actually uh, work. We have fitted um, jackets and water around the plasma gas appliance, which then evaporate the water and turn it into a and then a generator. So it's basically a self-powered system, so we don't have to um, take in any energy to uh, put it there, because that does take a lot of electricity. We also gain a lot of easy energy from photovoltaic surfacing and, of course, tidal energy use. And again, it's on a peninsula, we also try and take advantage. With your citizens, uh, how do they contribute to waste management, or is this all transparent, or is there any requirements? So the, the way citizens would actually use the waste management system is in each of their homes, um, or apartment buildings, because there is so many people, um, they each have um, a it's basically just use it like normal trash can if you want to use today.